Hi all! Today we're going to see how to create a distressed effect, just like the one you see on the screen right now. And for this we're going to be using the Draw Persona, this is Vectors, and we're also going to be using the Bitmap Persona. So let's start! Okay, so we have here these four graphics displaying this grungy style, this distressed effect. See here on this uh, text also what you see in here this is what i'm going to be showing you how to create in affinity designer in this tutorial somebody asked me if it was possible and yes it is and it's quite easy to achieve so let's start with the tutorial here we have this graphic i created to show you and so the first thing you want to do is go on the internet look for a background whatever works for you and start working on a layer on top of it. So the first thing I did is just grabbing the cock tool, one of the primitives, drag and put it on your canvas. Now we're gonna make some changes to it, something like this, like this, just, you know, whatever feels good for you works to create this kind of patch. Most important thing here is to learn how to go about the effect so go ahead create whatever you prefer we have this two in here as you can see i have activated this the snapping so i don't really need to do much in order to position them center okay i'm gonna move them so it looks you know cooler now i move this one too a bit like this i'm gonna give it another color you know, I'm just making it up right now in order to create something like that looks like a batch more than anything else. Um, this one, I think I'm going to oh, make it smaller like so. And probably I'm going to give it a very different color. I don't like that one. Something like this, for example, make it bigger like this. Yeah, so we have this kind of like a star in here. Probably this one I want it to be whiter, and this one a little bit pinkier, even, even like this. Okay, so we have the background created right now, and the first thing I'm going to be doing is going to the point. I'm going to show you how to make this look like this. So right now, as you can see in here, we're in the draw persona. This is vectors. We're going to change to the pixel persona. So we come here, you still see the layers and all that you have to do is, for example, grabbing the erase brush tool, because you could also grab the paint brush tool. But first, we're going to be using the erase brush tool. We click on it. We click on the layer we want to apply the effect to and what we're going to be doing Opa, I did it too much. It's just, you know, going over it and applying the effect we want. Of course, I have this effect because on my brushes palette, I have different categories. Well, for sure, I have very many installed. Uh, I don't exactly remember which ones are the ones that come with the um, software itself, but you can definitely go and install many, many more. Go ahead on Google and look for Affinity Designer brushes, download them, install them. If you don't know how to do it, there's information also in Google and you can use them. They're already there for you. So I click on texture. I chose one of these ones. Can really remember which one, but it doesn't really matter. Something that looks good for me. Like that one. Now I come back to layers, grab the next one, apply my effect like so. So for example, if I want to apply it to this color that is darker, have in mind that uh, what you're doing, sorry, I need to click in here. What you're doing is kind of like erasing through a mask, see? So what you're going to be seeing is the color you have behind. The good news is that this is a mask, which means you can move it around and change it 
and mend it and even getting rid of it, it's possible. Okay? So basically, this is the effect. It has no more mystery. There's more things I would like to show you. Like, for example, let's introduce this little piggy in the graphic. So what we're going to be doing is come up here, choose file, then choose place. We click on it. We click on the graphic we want to want to embed. And you see this arrow in here. We click on the canvas and here we are. We have our little piggy. Now, there's this interesting thing. You know, we are embedding the document uh, within our document. So the cool thing about this is like now I double click on it and it opens in another, say, file where I'm going to be able to do my changes. OK, so say, for example, that I want to put like a punky crest on my pig, something like this. OK, now I give it a color, whatever. OK, now I save it, command S, come back to my file. And as you can see in here, it's been updated. OK, so sorry, I'm going to. Yeah. So we have it here. OK, fantastic. Now I'm going to get rid of that hole um, and I want my pig to be white. The thing is, I think I'm going to change it again in my embedded document, document which is here. I'm going to change the color for it and I put it white like so. I command S, save and now I have it updated here. I don't really like the color I put for the crown, so I come back here and make it pinkish like so. I save it again and here we are. Fantastic. So, OK, this would be it. And again, the same thing. We, we are in the pixel persona. I would like to show you now, like before we did it with the uh, eraser tool. Well, as you can see in here, we can also use the the brush. OK, so if it's not painting, uh, over it is just because you cannot really see it is because my opacity was set to 20, but now you're going to be able to see it better. So we can add some stuff in here make it look cool. Like so obviously we are creating a mask, so I'm not painting outside uh, of the pork itself. OK, one last thing about this effect is that if we apply it on um, text, it's going to work exactly the same. You don't need to transform it into curves or anything. I'm going to get rid of this now. So you don't need to really do nothing to the text. It's just going to be exactly the same procedure. You come here to bit, uh, bit pixel persona, grab your eraser or your brush and apply your effect on top of it. It's going to create this mask and it will work exactly for text as it works for shapes. OK, so here you have a way to create this distressed effect for your graphics. We saw it combining the draw persona and the pixel persona using either the paint brush tool or the race brush tool. It's super easy and I hope you give it a go. So now, as always, thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave your comments, questions, whatever you want and subscribe if you still didn't. OK, <laughs> bye bye.